Hey guys, welcome to another episode of FTL. Uh, one of the things I have decided is that I'm actually going to do a run of each ship except for the Kestrel, and with the most, the more interesting variants, so you get a taste of everything, uh, and the more interesting variants, basically. Uh, so, uh, to start it off, uh, so Slug actually won last time, I got like the most votes or whatever, uh, so, uh, I'll explain to you briefly what uh, type A and B are. So, the first thing to note about both these ships is they do not have sensors. Uh, whatsoever. No internal sensors, no external sensors, nothing of the sort. Um, the slugs, though, have the ability, they have telepathic uh, abilities, so they can see r see rooms right next to them, and they can also see people on the other ship as, as dots, which is kind of interesting. Um, the the Type A variant is more of a, it's supposed to be a kill, uh, you're supposed to kill crews. I have never had much success with it or much fun with that, actually. I, I don't really like it all that much. Um, so we're not going to be touching this one. We're actually going to be doing the Type B today, which is actually... People argue it's the harder one of the two, uh, but actually, my first run with this, I had a really good... Like, I had a really good run. Like, I, I won. So, you know, <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. Um, but anyways, the reason why is because it, this is a boarding slug ship. So, slugs are not ex that really that good at combat. Um, they don't really have any specialities. They don't do have more health or more damage or whatever. Um, and the other problem is there's no med bay on this ship. Absolutely no med bay. You have to use the heal bombs or healing burst, whatever. It uses a missile. Basically, every time you want to heal, you got to use a missile. And you also get the Artemis. That's your other weapon. So you have to board and you have to kill people. It's crazy. It, it kind of is. Anyways, uh, but yeah, this is the one we're going to do. Um, I, I like this one. Um, and it also gives you the slug repair gel, which is uh, it's an augment that... Um, it automatically repairs hull breaches. Now, as as in uh, episode two, um, I, I will say this again. I explained more of the game's mechanics in episode one. So if you are new to this game and you're just hopping into this LP and you want me to explain shit, uh, go to that one. So uh, we're actually naming this the Sluginator. Um, <laughs> Gaul told me to name it this on Twitter, so uh, fun for him. And uh, the guy who suggested I do... Uh, the slug ship was a uh, fox boy uh, on my comments, so uh, he gets to be the uh, he gets to drive our ship, and of course, there's gonna be me, and then there's gonna be my good friend and partner in crime, Adam265. And th there's actually a good story around him that you guys will want to hear a little later. Um, he basically never catches a break, and I and I felt like he deserved to be uh, a crew member on, on one of my LPs, so let's give this a start. So, it's uh, uh, telling me here in the tip that there's a shield piercing mechanic. We've already known about this, so. So, basically with this one, uh, you can notice, you notice how when I'm walking around, I can see all the adjacent rooms, which is kind of a cool mechanic uh, within itself. Um, no med bay. <laughs> it's crazy. I know, but there's no med bay. Uh, I, I feel that I should keep the healing bomb charged, though. Uh, but... Yeah, okay. Well, let's get going then. I, I want to get probably another power into the, the engines, because I don't want to not have anything powered. So we go here. So probably this is the kind of ship I want to actually go into nebulas with, so we'll probably do that whenever I can. There's a small sh sh rebel ship nearby. It's been refitted for tra transport rather than combat. I will demand surrender of his goods. I'm going to se secure the goods by force, but he doesn't want to fight, so... Um, we will send in our crew into their engine room. Thing is, that may not work out. Uh oh, let's go into here, because they can only fight two of us at a time. Now, unfortunately, with uh, with enemy FTL, you have to, you do have to be careful with that, because if, I think if you, um... Oh, uh, great. Uh, you know, I think I'm content with this. I took out his engines, which is nice. Um, I could have taken out his cockpit, but I'm okay with this. Um... Unfortunately, these people are not getting back to the ship because I just noticed that my transport has been taken offline. Now, uh, the way the transporter works is it has a cooldown, so it has a ba it's basically like the cloak in the last one where it has like a couple seconds of cooldown, um, and that's what. And so when you put more points in it, it has less of a cooldown, so you're not as screwed basically. Now, the one problem I do have here is that my people are on this ship, and uh, I have to make sure they don't die. So, because if they die, then this is this this run is over. And I just healed them both with a healing bomb. 
Uh, I'm getting wrecked right now, but luckily I'm I'm winning right now. That's okay. This is why it's probably one of the worst starting ships. It really is. And so this is what basically boarding is. It basically entails killing basically the entire crew. And I got an anti-ship drone, drone mark too. Well, I would consider that a good deal. Now, unfortunately, uh, poor old Fox Boy is going to actually have to heal, uh, heal the ship here. And this guy, uh, I've taken a bit of damage, although I'm, I'm reluctant to go heal because um, if I heal, it takes up a bomb. Uh, but I guess I, I guess I'll have to. So let's transport my people back. Uh, well, I might as well go into this room. And so one of the things that you should also note while you're doing this. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll let these guys. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let these guys heal this thing. Uh oh. Uh, just come in here. Good ban. All right. Just trying not to stop the progress. So I guess this works out uh, because they're all taking damage in that room there. Uh, and so I'll just make them all come back here and uh, get healing. So one of the things, sorry, I was um, I, I lost my train of thought for a minute. Uh, basically, one of the things is you can actually evade your own bomb. I I shit you not, you can evade your own bomb, which is why you want to have. Uh, my good old friend Fox Boy uh, off of uh, uh, what's it call it off of the uh, the steering because this drops my bay to zero, which means the healing bomb becomes a guaranteed hit on myself. This is also kind of sucks for when I'm trying to heal my own crew during like that kind of desperate situation. If that misses, I'm fucked. <laughs> so uh, hopefully we will not get into that kind of situation ever. Um, but can't deny that it could happen. Uh, this is the Dread Pirate Taco, and he wants me to die. Alright. Well, beam our ass into fucking here. So usually what I use the Artemis for is for either disabling weapons or med bay or whatever the hell I decide. This is gonna be actually a really easy fight. I, no, no, actually that's a rock guy. Fuck. I, th I thought that was an engineer. Okay. Now, if I, if I lose this... Okay, good. The healing bomb got them, so we're okay. Uh, sorry, I thought that was an NG. That's um, Mor Mork, the uh, the rock guy. Sorry, I was about to say, if, if that missed, that bomb, I would have to basically run around the ship until my teleport comes back on. Okay, and we get, we stripped off his ship, so we're good. We're stripping his ship. It's like ship porn. And they, they keep hitting my O2. I think that's one of the first things I need to get is... Um, well, actually, no. That's not one of the first things I need to get. First thing I need to get is actually a better crew for fucking boarding. This is the most important thing, I think, for the ship. Uh, some may disagree with me. Um, it won't be the first time someone's disagreed with me on something related to FTL. I don't really care. Uh, I'm going to aid the Federation ship uh, who needs help. And Federation loyalists? No way. Oh. I really hope that's not an anti-personnel thing, but... Give it a shot. Uh, they do not have a med bay. I'm gonna... Oh, wow. It just occurred to me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna run around for a bit. We're in position? What the hell does that even mean? So I get to kind of just run around. Hey, I like your O2. Uh, heal bomb is almost done. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good now. It, it occurred to me that uh, um, I may not be uh, completely prepared for if, uh, like, whenever I come out of FTL and uh, uh, what's it called, and I don't have someone at full health. Okay, this might be a problem. That was that was kind of cutting it close. I I won't lie. Um, I should really not do that. Because as you guys have learned, losing a single crew member is actually probably one of the most worst things that can actually happen. So he says, uh, thanks for giving have some extra supplies. This is one of the things, um, the difference between boarding a ship rather than uh, killing it outright is you get more scrap out of it. That's the idea, but it's more risky for you. So I got a Hermes missile out of this, which is um, a, a three shot, uh, three damage uh, missile, which... Uh, to be honest, uh, not better than what I have. 
Uh, not in the slightest. The Artem Ar Artemis missile is much better. Um, Anti-ship drone I will never use, so let's not even go there. Okay, so this guy's gonna repair our, our shit. Now, one of the problems is I want to get these crew members onto things that they would actually be good at. Um, so I need to go if there's a place to buy crew members here, hopefully. Fuck. They're humans. We're not buying humans. Fuck that, boys. Unfortunately, I didn't go to this store when I had the opportunity. Whatever. Uh, humans are not that good at combat. I'm not... Well, they're, they're okay at combat, but I'm not bothering with that. Now, unfortunately, it, this is a drone, which means I'm not beaming my ass onto a ship. There are people who out there who are like, uh, you should totally beam on there and you can beam them back. I think you need like a level 3 teleporter, first of all. Because uh, drones, by the way, if you don't know, they have no, uh... They, ha they have no oxygen on them, so you're basically... Uh, you're beaming them onto an oxygenless ship and hoping they don't suffocate. Which kind of sucks. You, d you don't want to put your people into that. Alright, this is the last missile. Target is cockpit. You know, I always rage a bit on the inside when, when missiles miss, but whatever. But yeah, we're not beaming our guys onto the ship. That's a really terrible idea. Okay, well, he left some scrap behind. I'm gonna go down here just so I can have the maximum view of all the, the stuff, of the, all the whatever. All, all the s nearby systems. Okay, I'm gonna reject this guy's offer. I'm not, pay I'm not paying your damn toll. Alright, we're gonna go into here. So these guys will need some healing in a bit. Um, so we're gonna just wait for the uh, that to charge. These guys are no better at um, at combat than... Uh, uh, how much else do they have? Oh, we're about the same. No, no, get back in there, you dick. I, I'm thinking I should be running around. I'm a little bit worried. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, you know, one of these days it's gonna miss. I'm gonna just rage so hard. What? Wait, wait, wait! I just noticed what this guy has. Okay, okay, get this. Enemy combat drone. So, uh, it's it need it can't go through shields, and he's got a beam weapon. <laughs> this would be the kind of shit I'd face in my stealth ship with no shields. Basically, since I have shields, I'm invulnerable to anything he can do. <laughs> there is absolutely nothing you can do to hurt me. That's funny as hell. This is like the worst fucking combo of items you can possibly have. Okay, this guy will win. Don't worry. Well, my, I'll win. Alright, and we... We strip the ship of everything we want and then that's it. And I took him off just so I would not miss with the evade and then we're done. Now, unfortunately, um, there's no more stores nearby and I going up here doesn't seem like a very prudent idea, so we'll just, uh, we'll just visit all the systems here just to get the most RNG out of this. This is nice. This is really fucking nice. This is the kind of people you want to see. You want to know why? We'll never surrender one of our crew to, to you, assholes. Beam onto their ship. Kill those motherfuckers. And, uh... I'll show you what happens. Who's winning this? I think I think Adam's just barely losing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to heal bomb both these people. I don't know why that happened that way. And then we win. Okay, now wa watch this amazingness. Okay, so we got a heavy. What the hell? I keep getting all these great items. Thank you very much, game. A heavy laser Mark One, and unfortunately, we didn't actually get the random event that I thought I would. And I think my doors are on fire. Actually, one of the things I didn't mention to you is um, I do have level two doors, which is which actually is kind of nice because there's not a lot, whole lot of people on this ship uh, to begin with. Uh, you know, I kind of just have to put up with. Uh, Your Godfire, go away. Okay, good man. Equalize pressure, and we're done. And the rooms are now red. I'll just make uh, me and Adam, we'll, we'll fix it. Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you a story about uh, Adam265. So this is my, this is one of my friends I, I well, sort of friends I talked to on, uh, he is a friend, on um, my Mumble server. And um, basically he was trying very desperately hard to beat this game. And there's a, uh, there's an incoming ship, alright. Oh, I love these guys with the oxygen there. 
Okay, well, I'll just, uh, beam into here. Oh, they're NGs. This poor souls. They're already dead. They just don't know it. Anyways, um, so he was trying very desperately to beat this game, and he was very upset uh, at my success, actually, because uh, I, I beat it, I think, I don't know when I beat it, but I, I beat it nonetheless, and he's been actually apparently, tr he was trying for months. He, he died apparently like 40 times or something, and I felt really bad for him. I really did, because uh, like no one, no one deserves to have that string of bad luck. And I found a prisoner who will join my crew. Here we go. This guy is better at combat, uh, so he's going to be... Uh, my next combat person. Uh, you know what? I might as well bring you on an away mission because it doesn't really matter to me. Okay, I'll drive and Adam, you man the engines just so we can have more evade. Adam will do engines. Okay, so now Foxboy and Alex are going to be uh, in here. So I felt really bad for Adam. I really did because... Um, he he gets a he gets a lot of bad luck in this game, and so he beat it recently, and I felt really good. For, I felt really good for him. I helped him through it. He beat it on easy, and then he's gonna probably go to normal. So uh, good luck to you, Adam, wherever you are. Okay, this beacon has uh, been built for a nearby civilian space station. No one hails my ship. Okay, I can go there and then back, and then we'll we'll get out, get the hell out of here. Uh, we're gonna scrap the debris. If I look for survivors, chances are I'm gonna lose someone. So so I got debris out of it. Debris is a fun word. Ooh, heavy laser looks good. Okay. My FTL is charged. I can jump to the next sector. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, uh, who hates me? I got basically... So Hermes missile I'm never going to use, so let's just put it away. Um, two, two shots, but two damage. One shot, but two damage. I'm probably gonna actually sell these both, and that's for the reason that um, uh, I don't really want to go through shields. I'm a boarding ship. I have no purpose of going through shields. Now, uh, here we here we go. We have an outlook of basically everything that's coming up. So I'm actually gonna take the NG route because uh, there's two nebulas here, and slugs excel at nebulas. It, it doesn't matter to them, so I might as well. I don't. What, what do I do? I lose sensors. Fuck it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, so I've arrived in NG space, and they're stocking up, apparently, so... Alright, so I'm thinking, actually, that we go this way and across, and so we can get possibly to a store in this episode. Let's give it a try. Fuck. Uh, actually, no. No, this is not fuck. I can, I can just, uh, target his, uh, shields. Luckily, I put that heavy laser in, huh? Is that a beam weapon? What kind of weapon is this? Yeah, it's a beam weapon. One more and I'll be able to beam onto a ship. I'm not that effective at combat, so... Unfortunately, Zoltan Shield prevents me from teleporting on, which is why you saw me basically switching my focus. Alright. So Mantis gonna be really good at combat, which is really good for me. Um, because, like... Obviously, I want someone who's good at combat. All right, let's go switch to the Artemis missile. It's it's you know what? I'm not selling this one obviously because getting through Zoltan shields is a priority. Uh, we we really do want to get like whenever we meet them, we want to take them out right away. So you become one of the weapons, but I will not have a charge most of the time. It's just for those few times I actually do see them, and so I strip it uh, the the ship of useful materials. Look how much scrap I have, guys. Okay, you know, I think it's a good idea if I go and, um, invest into something. Uh, let's get another energy point and some, another block of shields. You guys good with that? And, uh, maybe, no, no, I'm saving up for crew. For crew and country. So now I have more evade and all that kind of crap. Alright, so put everyone in the same room. Heal bomb that room. Ta-da! Okay, Foxboy, get back on engines. I just kind of want to have... I, I like to be very optimal about me using my missiles, so... I'm, I'm kind of a multitasking dick like that. Okay, Adam, you can go on away missions. That's okay. <laughs> Knowing him, he'll die. No, I'm just kidding. I love you, Adam. Alright, the rebel fighter here uh, suggests the fleet is already making incursions into this space. Oh, well. Um, so, if you, know, if you know so far, my strategy has basically been kill the crew. And if you when you kill the crew, uh, you get the you, ma you get the maximum rewards, which is why I get so much money out of it. It's it's actually fantastic. 
And now my shields are so powerful that they're, nobody's getting through that. So this is already a pretty good run so far. Alright, hopefully I won't have to heal. Uh, I may, I will do it. There we go. I, I avoid healing because it does cost resources. Okay, I scrap it, I, I get all the maximum scrap I can, beam him back, and we're done. When did I lose this much hull? I don't even know. That's, that's never a good sign. Uh, we did not fight a war to let a single federation sh uh, uh, ship <laughs> scatter our dreams of a better galaxy. Okay, we just got boarded. Um, uh, sucks to be them. We're gonna wreck him. Ah, Adam's getting pretty good at combat. Good job, Adam. All right, let's go. Let's go board their ship. Counter board. Kind of wish that Adam wasn't fighting this guy. Adam, why'd you have to fight that guy? Oh, it missed. Let's just go troll him. He's confused. Okay, heal bomb's coming. The Mantis gets to be really fast though. See, I, I, I get to fucking just be, go around. Okay. Alright, now you can come. <laughs> there we go. And I find a prisoner that offers to join my crew. It's an NG. Nice. Not too bad. Obviously not someone I would use for combat, so I will put him on weapons. Because weapons is, I think, one of the least important things on, on this ship. Um, because I will not, I, I'm obviously not making a weapon dependent uh, ship, so having them charge faster so I can bring them, bring them off easily does not matter to me. Okay, here we have some stores. We need at one more combat person. Uh, this guy will not do that. We could also buy a med bay. Uh, I don't know if I failed to, I probably failed to mention that. Uh, might as well do it, Max. So we could buy a med bay if we want. I'm not going to be doing that, because there's really no point. Uh, heavy laser I'm getting rid of. Oh shit, I discovered my Artemis. Fuck. <laughs> I thought it was the Hermes. Okay, I made it I made a boo-boo. I made a I made a mistake. Well <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I did not want to do that. Alright, let's go to the other one. Hopefully, uh we'll not get into a situation where I need to take out a med bay. Oh, I can repair scrap. I will be ignoring it because I am already at full health. Fuck. Now I need some kind of missile weapon to breach through. Uh, shields. Okay, so this guy needs engine shields. Great. Nobody can fucking sell me anything. Okay, scrap recovery arm, because that's always a good thing to get early on. And shield booster, why not? And let's sell the slug repair gel. Uh, because that's not very useful to me. Why did I sell that missile? God damn it. I'm an idiot. Alright, I'm going to participate in this Zoltan study. Oh no, they're being held hostage. The true is detected where? Oh, right there. Why would you send a Zoltan, the fucking best boarding team ever? The Zoltan and the, the, the NG. They don't even stand a chance. Poor guys. Luckily they have no med bays yet. I'm, I'm mad at myself. Alright. They have a lot of people on their ship. Like, it's like five people total. Big crew. Well, not really. The, the event was random. That's why I like the healing bombs. They're, they're kind of cool. It's just they're unreliable. Because you have to depend on it to kill... Oh, wow. Another Zoltan? By the way, okay, so the best people for combat and the worst people for combat... The rocks are the best because of their HP and immunity to fire. Mantis is their second best. Alright, I'm going to contact the research station. And they gave me another anti-ship drone. Alright. Not that I'm complaining or anything. Okay, another anti-ship drone. I'm so mad. Alright, let's go Distress Beacon. That was a trap. Alright, so in this case I'm gonna actually let them board my ship. Actually, why, why the hell would I fucking... Have fun with that, guys. You know, soften, soften them up, uh, softening, uh, softening them up slightly. With lack of oxygen. They are separated. They must be freaking morons. Oh no, you can cut you can come right in, sir. Oh, you're dead. Look at that. Oh. Wait, wait. He, he Okay, that guy didn't make it back. 
They, 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 they teleported his corpse. What a bunch of honorable idiots. And apparently the guy who's driving doesn't want to get off. Alright, let's... Why don't you go and heal the... right there. And another NG? And, and, no, he really did, what? Okay, decide where you want to be, buddy. Okay, Adam265 may have, uh, trouble in second. No, he's, he's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. This has been the most pathetic boarding parties I've ever seen. Alright, you get off that. And we're good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll just go straight down. You might as well. So, if you, if you notice now, I have an abundance of resources. It's crazy, and I'm gonna sell three scrap, because I might as well. I'm, I'm practically shitting resources, so... Um, getting the med bay is completely up to me. I can do that if I want. So let's get some more evade. Rather than the thing I just said I should get. <laughs> I just need two good crew members. I, I, usually I want four by the end, and now I get another defense drone mark too. Guys, I don't even know why the hell my luck is this good right now. Holy jeez. Okay. Uh, I probably will be keeping more than one of those. Okay, let's go to Nebula, because now we get to show off what the... Oh, well, what the slugs are really capable of. So, yeah, um... Many uh decided to go offline in these uh, these places. So, yeah, for, so for next time, uh, we will be exploring this vast and awesome-looking Nebula. So, I will see you guys next time. Bye.